Hey Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video member of my Bella Buddies Instagram and she has a YouTube channel and it, she is, let me see, let me pull up the screen share here. Farm Girl Scavenger and let me go into eBay store, which I love this, uh, farm girl scavenger, unique and ordinary life items. And we will come back to her store after we do the bolos here. And I'll show you some of the stuff that she has actively listed. But if you want to check out her YouTube channel, I will have it linked below along with her eBay store. All right. So this is a featured seller bolo video. And how that works is I share items that this seller has sold that I consider to be bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can typically buy low and sell high. So in this video, I'm going to tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. And let's get started. And if you are interested in being featured, feel free to message me in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. There's a link down in the description of the video. And you can just send me a private message, send me a link to your eBay store, and I can look through it. And if we can get a video together, that would be awesome. All right. The first bolo item is this lot of two vintage Russ Tough teddy bears. And they are plush. Here's the first one. My, uh, and here's the second one. So I wonder, I'm not sure how old they are. But she wrote that she found these at an estate sale, paid 25 cents each, sold for full asking price of $40 plus shipping of $17. So a total of $57.99 and went to Germany. And she uh, uses pirate ship simple export rate, which you guys, if you're not using pirate ship, um, simple export for international sales, I use it. Um, from time to time, most of my stuff glo goes global shipping, but I am seriously like tempted to start using the pirate ship more because the rates are so great. So uh, definitely check that out if you haven't. It is something you have to sign up for, but it is free. The next item is this, I'm not sure what this is, if it's like a tabletop thing, just like a decoration. So it's a vintage five-tiered clear glass art deco skyscape scraper pendant light lamp. Lampshade. Oh, it's a lampshade. Okay. All right. I see. So it goes over like a candle or something. Interesting. Very cool. Um, it says she got this found in a shed at an estate sale um, in May of 2019. I paid nothing because the contents of the shed were given to me. Sold for $85 plus shipping. Very cool. Free is the best, right? All right. These crafting and decorating made simple five binder um, full size patterns. So I'm not really certain. Okay. So it looks like they're craft binders. So sourced at an estate sale, I paid 20 for a huge lot of books. These were probably around 25 cents each. Sold and on offer for $40 plus shipping media mail. She said the lady decided she wanted to return these and wasn't very nice. She did not want to pay the return shipping, threatened to call eBay and report her if she didn't pay the shipping. She told me they were missing some pages. I told her as soon as I got them back and verified they were exactly as I had shipped, I would decide what to refund her on the 27th her 30 days to ship them back will be over and the return will be terminated by ebay okay so there's a good uh point being made here um if somebody threatens you and is nasty sometimes those people seem to be the ones that are just trying to get something for free or a partial refund so always this is just my personal opinion. Always ask them to return the item. That is going to weed out anybody that is just trying to scam you because if they really want the item, they're not going to return it. And it looks like that might be the case in this situation, but they do have until the 27th. So it's the 23rd. 
So four more days to return it. But typically, you know, if this person messaged her like almost 30 days ago saying she was upset about it, you would think that she would have opened a return by now. So we'll see how that all pans out. But I'm guessing it was just somebody trying to get a partial refund. All right, this Ohio State University marching band. Um, is this a, it's a book? I think it's just a book. Yeah, so interesting. That's where I went to high, high school. Oh my goodness, it's almost midnight. You can tell I'm getting tired. That's where I went to college. I went to Ohio State University. So this is, I guess I'm alumni, not from 1948 though. <laughs> but anyway, pretty cool. Like um, yearbooks can also do well. So be on the lookout for those. But this says paid nothing. It was inside of another book. I bought it in an estate sale. Sold it for $85.26, 20 cents. And the buyer paid shipping, sold overnight and got positive feedback. So it was a very quick sale also. Okay, CC Filson. Filson is a great brand to be on the lookout for. I've never found any, but um, I definitely am on the lookout. She got this at an estate sale for $2. Paid three to have it dry clean. So total invested is five. Sold it for $108.18. And the buyer paid shipping. Fantastic. Let me see if I can get you a tag here. Yep. There you have it. The next item is this vintage Sunbeam automatic electric egg cooker poacher. And it is Bakelite. Interesting. Never seen anything like this. Huh. Uh, given to me. Sold for full asking price of $69.20. And the buyer paid shipping. So another free item. This vintage 80s Peterbilt semi truck. Um, it's like a satin black jacket. Those satin vintage jackets seem to do well. So definitely be on the lookout for anything satin and vintage. If you can get it for, for the right price, I definitely recommend it. This one, estate sale $1 sold for full asking price of $79.19 and the buyer paid shipping. This Nickelodeon magazine from 1996, and it's kind of got that Halloween, um, cover on it. So, you know, people really like Halloween. So that may have helped this one. I don't know. But uh, it sold for $41.33 plus shipping. Picked this up at an estate sale for 25 cents. The next item are these animated stories from the New Testament 18 DVD set. This came from an estate sale, got it super cheap, like a bulk buy with a bunch of other stuff, divided it all out, maybe paid $3 for all of them, sold it for $149.20, and the buyer paid shipping, and that's what the fronts look like. The next item is these four vintage antique Weston model Volt um, a meter tester. I don't know what these are. Huh. No clue. Paid a dollar for each. So four bucks at an estate sale. And it was the same estate sale she got the Filson vest from. Sold for full asking price of $95.20. And the buyer paid shipping. I'm trying to see what these say. Oh, it just says what the information on the back. That's smart. This vintage 1980s Adidas jogging fitted ball cap sold for $29.20 plus shipping and paid 30 cents at the bins, the Goodwill bins. These nine crown royal special reserve purple velvet bags, gold drawstring, ah, drawstring tassels. Got at the bins. They were a little under a pound a ship, so the co they cost about a dollar. They sold for full asking price of $49.20, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Schley Bayala, a world of magic lot of 11 horses, unicorn, and elves, retired. Super, super cool. Very cool. I love these. 
I love horses and unicorns. I think they're fun. Uh, this came from a children's consignment shop. Paid $3.99. Sold for full asking price. Children's consignment shop. Who would have thought? California license plate. Blue and yellow 1970s. Free to me from my adopted dad, the, the one who just passed away. Sold for full asking price of $49.99. And the buyer paid shipping. So again, another awesome free Bolo item. The next item are these vintage lot of 11 TV guides, cigarette ads, Clint Eastwood, Loretta Young. So she picked some of like the main key points to uh, put in the title just to kind of draw people into the listing. And these are from 1961 to 1962. Uh, bought at an estate sale, 50 cents each. So about 550 in this. Sold for 49.20 plus shipping. And it says for a total of 456.71. So I'm really, I'm guessing that four is a typo and it's probably 56.71. I'm like, did it go internationally? And I'm like, even if it did, it wouldn't be that much. I uh, got this at the same sale as the Nickelodeon magazine. And she said the buyer sent this note as well. Thank you. I'm looking to fill in missing Oregon Portland issues of TV Guide. I already have all in your other lot on eBay. But if you have access to more from this market, I would appreciate a chance to buy some. Interestingly, I have several with the T. Parmeritor label on them. I don't know what that means. Also looking for TV Life and TV Preview. From Portland Market. Thanks. So the reason I read that to you guys is, is what that tells me. There are people that collect these items that are out there just waiting for them to be listed. So if you see these TV guides I, and you can get them cheap, I guess, pick them up. I don't know. Um, definitely uh, an interesting bolo. I, I've heard that TV guides do well. I, I've seen them be a bolo before. I think I've had them in other videos. I don't understand it, but I don't have to. You know, different people collect different things for different reasons. So uh, definitely be on the lookout. So this Airtex, uh, Hughes Airwest Airtex airline garment. I don't know what this is. What is this? It's some sort of like... Uh, Airline garment. Does it inflate? Is it or I have no idea. Does anybody know what this is? I so want to know what this is. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just like a jacket. I don't know. At first I thought it was like a something you blow up. Anyway, anything airline vintage is definitely a good thing to pick up. But uh, let's see. Purchased this at an estate sale for $0.25. Cents, sold for $39.19 plus shipping. And let's go on to the next one. More TV guides. And these sold for $72.20. cents each, so $9. So sold for full asking price. So there you go. More TV guides. Bolo, bolo, bolo. The next item is this new Bath and Body Works. Um, it's a body splash. And I don't know if this is a discontinued scent or what, but it sold for $49.19. Picked it up at an estate sale in a basket of stuff. So probably paid about 50 cents. And the buyer paid shipping. And there were two that somehow I missed. So let me pull these up real quick. Uh, it ran into the other, but I want to show you guys this. Okay, so these vintage lady chic, I think that chic chic, I don't know how you say it, but they're curlers, guys. Uh, paid nothing for they were given to me, sold for full asking price of $79.20 plus shipping. I could find zero comps, so these on these so I just made up a price so that's cool there was one more that I missed let me see if I can find it 
Okay. Let me put this one in. I don't know. I, I just pulled up all the tabs. I don't know how I missed it, but um, there were a couple that had expired that I wasn't able to pull in, but this one is Patagonia. And Patagonia is a pretty good brand to just know to look for. But this was a visor, which I thought was kind of cool. And bought at the Goodwill bins, um, $1.29 a pound, so about 40 cents in this. Sold for full asking price of $34.20. So that is what it looks like. So I just wanted to share that one with you guys also. And there is the tag. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And we are going to go in and I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can kind of see some of the other stuff she has listed. So a really good variety of items, which is important, I think, especially in times like right now, you know, where everybody's kind of online looking for stuff because they can't be out shopping. So I just did a video on cross stitch um, kits to be on the lookout for. If you guys missed that one, definitely go check it out. Let's see what else we got here. And again, I have a link to her eBay store down in the description of the video if you would like to check that out. And her channel, her YouTube channel link is down there also. Here's another Nickelodeon book. So yeah. And again, if anybody's interested in being featured, feel free to message me in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. The link to that is also down in the description of the video. Thank you all for being here and spending this time with me and watching this video. I appreciate it. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon. If you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. Have a good night.